Hi everyone, I'm Maria Longoria and I'm from the University of Houston downtown, as she said. Um, I'm part of Scholars Academy, which is a unit uh, like an honors college inside of our university. So I've done chemistry research. We started um, last fall, so we only worked for like a semester and we're working this semester as well. So hopefully we will have more data at the end of the semester. Um, so it's a chemistry research. Um, my instructor is Dr. Jacob Peruato. He's a chemistry professor. And the title of our research is the development of GCMS, which is gas chromatography and mass spectrometry, headspace method to determine accurate concentrations of alcohols. So we started this research because since COVID started, um, the government allowed um, a lot of hand sanitizers containing ethanol um, to be sold and consumed, well, used by the people. So, and this is a concern for us because the ethanol inside of those hand sanitizers are actually dangerous. So we wanted to test um, which brands contain which concentrations of ethanol and also other chemicals that can harm us. Okay, so some background, um, the determination of accurate concentrations of ethanol, methanol, and other alcohols um, is very, very critical in forensics and several other fields. Um, of course, you want to know what concentrations of these chemicals is in whatever you're using. Um, so we use gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GCMS. Um, it's a powerful tool to determine trace amounts of these compounds. And in this work that we've done, um, we have developed the uh, GCMS method to determine the concentration of alcohols in hand sanitizers. We tested several brands um, using the term labeled alcohols as internal standard. So what is gas chromatography? So gas chromatography is a common type of chromatography used in analytical chemistry for separating and analyzing compounds that can be vaporized without the decomposition of this. So typical uses of GC include testing the purity of a particular substance or separating the different components of a mixture, which is what we do in the lab. And mass spectrometry um, is an analytical technique that is used to measure the mass to charge ratio of ions of this compound. So the results are presented as a mass spectrum and we get a lot of intensity as a function of the mass to charge ratio. So this is the machinery that we use. We put our substances in here, and then we get a graph, and then we see the concentrations of whatever um, substance we're testing. So, so the materials or methods that we use, uh, we use Agilent CG MS 8860 with a headspace sampler that was used for our analysis, and that includes a few silica column with this measurement. This is us working in the lab. Um, so this is the kind of graphs that we get after we run the process, and now we can see what concentrations we, we have of fish chemicals. Here's another graph. Um, here we have the concentration of just ethanol. We have the standard curve for ethanol using the C, the GCMS method. So the conclusion of our lab um, on this research, we determined the presence of alcohols, as I said at the beginning, and it's oxidative products in various hand sanitizers using the GCMS method. And using this method, we were able to see the trace amount of acetaldehyde, an oxidation product of alcohol, which is, um, which was the main goal of our research, and in various hand sanitizer samples from different brands. So we're working on these. Um, hopefully, we will have more data to show at the end of the semester because we have only been working for like the whole past fall. Past um, we want to acknowledge um, UHD Scholars Academy for supporting our research and also the Welsh Foundation Scholarship that we use to. So that's it for now. Do you have any questions? There's some questions. Question. 
you please yeah. mention yes. your name and the uh, place from you come for. Okay, I'm Michael Coven and I'm from the University of Houston downtown. Okay. And um, I'm interested, you mentioned the breakdown products for acetaldehydes. Yes. Yeah. And you said they were they were dangerous. Uh, yes. They could be. If I they're was used, wondering if how. they're used in hand sanitizers. Okay. And considering that hand sanitizers is a product that we use like constantly, like high amounts of these can be dangerous. So repeated yes. application. Mm -hmm. I yes. see. And some of them have more concentrations than others. So at least we want to know which ones are safer than the other ones. Like uh -huh. it's it's harmful. Yeah. And the yeah. government allowed this yeah. hand sanitizers to be sold during the pandemic. Like they were more relaxed on that. Uh huh. And do you do you know if they changed back to the more? Safe? They haven't changed. They have not no. done that. No. And what I was wondering, what kind of damage they do do to them? They harm your skin barrier, and they are associated with some skin cancers. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks. Okay. My name is Fragad. I'm from University of Houston downtown. Um, I just have a quick question. How did you deal with um, it being dangerous? Were well, you... we don't actually touch the substance. Okay. Like we wear gloves and we use like small concentrations when we're testing. Okay. So we don't actually. And no smelling. No. Okay. no. I Okay. Uh, my name is Hatsun. I'm also from UHD. And I was wondering if you knew about any alternatives uh, that are being developed to address this issue. I don't know. Alternatives? Yeah, like alternative products. Um, I know there's some vegan, you know, vegan hand sanitizer. Like they use different substances, but like I don't know the exact name of them. Hand washing. Yeah, hand washing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you can always hand wash. So yeah. 